In this video, we're going to talk about the DevExpress HTML editor extension for ASP.NET MVC. To start, we're going to go to File, New, Project, and I'm going to choose the DevExpress MVC2 web application because it has all the assembly references and web config settings that I need to use DevExpress MVC extensions. For the purposes of this demo, we're not going to create a unit test project. And Visual Studio is going to create the project for me and open up the Home Controller. I'm going to go down into Views, Home, Index, and copy in some code. I'm simply going to replace the existing content with my new content, Control kd to format the document, and I now have the HTML editor ready to use. Since it's an MVC extension, we can call html.devexpress.htmleditor and pass in some settings. We'll give it a name. We'll tell it to not allow scripts, not allow iframes, and not allow form elements. We'll tell it to update to precated elements and use bold italic, and then we'll set the enter mode to use break. We can also use a paragraph tag. We'll add the setting to allow the context menu and allow the design, HTML, and preview views. We then tell it to render with a width of 490 pixels and finally render the extension. Hitting Control F5 will open up the website in the browser without debugging. Here's our HTML editor. I'm going to go to another document here and copy lorem ipsum, and I'm going to paste it inside here. Now, this is a standard HTML editor, and I can do a number of things. I can select some text and make it bold, and select some other text and make it italic. And I can underline some other text. I can also change things like font size and font, set to Homa, and I'll set the font size to 4. I can do a number of other things like set lists, And finally, I can set superscript and subscript, and I can even paste from Word, which will strip out the extra extraneous formatting that Microsoft Word usually adds in. There are even more features available if we look at Demo Center. For example, we can design custom CSS. And using custom CSS, we can tag CSS in our style sheet to use within the HTML editor. We can also do things like tables, and we have a dialog here to allow us to add tables, insert table, and I can set things like how many columns and how many rows, and width and height and padding and colors for the table. I can insert hyperlinks with URL and text and tooltips, and whether or not to open it in a new window, as well as email addresses. I can also do spell checking within my document. To do spell checking, I simply click the check spelling dialog and it will find text that's misspelled based on the dictionary that it's using. And I can click options to choose to ignore things like ignore words in uppercase, ignore words with mixed case, or ignore URLs. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.